All right, Corey, here we are on your 2016 QX50. 3.7 liter V6. I'm gonna start this video with all the doors open and try to show you anything that I would wanna know if I were buying this vehicle. And uh, first off, we'll start with the motor and the engine compartment, let you see it and hear it. Headlights are clear. We've got some running lights underneath. We'll start to uh, take a look at any scratches, dents, or dings to be aware of since this is a used car just want to make sure that uh, I'm not sure that's a mark or what that is there it looks like we got a couple places right up here on the hood I want to show you one's a little scratch here I can barely see it here's one it looks like a little paint ding I'm gonna try to get you a good view of that I'm having a hard time to see it out here in the sunshine and then there's one right there Okay, I'm gonna make you aware of those, which is not unusual for the front end of a car. Uh, here's another one, used one, this is from 2016, so we've got a, a few little road scratches on it. Got one on the door right there, hopefully you can see that. We're setting on uh, 19 inch Infinity uh, alloys, two tone. You got the chrome with a pewter finish, and these are uh, Goodyear Eagle RSAs with a ton of tread. Hopefully, you're able to see that okay. It's hard to capture everything in a five to eight minute video, and you have the signal lights on the mirrors as well. You probably know more about this vehicle than I do, as much as you've been shopping them, probably. We have the on-door controls with the uh, locks, windows, seat adjustments. You got the wood trim on the door. We'll get inside the driver's seat in a second. Want to look right here though on the driver's seat. Very li limited wear there, but that's usually where typically the most uh, wear on the upholstery would be. Maybe a few scratches here where people are getting in and out of it. Okay. There you go. Back door. We got some nicks right here. Let me back out a little bit so you can see those. Right as you're getting in, looks like somebody scraped across them getting in the car. Okay. Back seat though looks like no one's hardly ever sat in it. Let's see if there's an armrest here. There we go. Armrest, cup holder. There you go. We're uh Heating and cooling vents. I'm gonna go ahead and close this door. Again, back tire, a lot of tread. So here's the rear trunk compartment. It's got the infinity fitted trunk rubberized mat. And we have uh, the automatic controls for the seats. Boom. The one on this side, boom. And I believe they'll stand back up too. Oh, just gotta hold it. There it goes. There's one. I'm just holding the button here while it runs. There you go. Nice to see things in operation so you know they work. Across the back end where people might load uh, stuff in and out. We got a little nick here. All right. Just want to show you as much of this vehicle as I can. Give you a good idea of what you're uh, what you're looking at. All right. All the lights are clear. They're not oxidized at all. It's in great shape. The paint looks great get the few you know chips up front try to be expected here's the rear right wheel and tire and then from the 
opposite side. Maybe a couple wrinkles here. But uh, we have floor mats in them. There we go. Then the rear passenger door. I don't see any scratches or anything. Looks good. Then the uh, passenger side up front. This uh, side might have a it looks in great shape. The, the weather stripping is all good. It's not like it's been beat up. So, all right. So let's go sit. Let me give you a view of the outside of this one. See if this is a scratch or dirt. That looks like it could be a little buffed up job. It's not dented, but it is something's rubbed off on it. It needs it like black. It's not a dent or it's not a scratch in the paint either. All right. Good looking car. So on a little side note, my wife drives the smaller version of this. The EX35 instead of the QX50. QX50 is sizably, noticeably larger. More room in the back, more headroom in the front. All right. So here we are, 40,101 miles. We do have navigation. Uh, I believe these are also the ones with the music box. I know my wife has that where you can store, you can feed CDs in here and load them onto your music box and listen to them without having the CD. All your own steering wheel controls for the uh, cruise, the media. All right. It's a sharp looking car. I love the wood grain console. We have a cup holder here. We have your seat warmers. You have your reclining seats, or the, that's the headrest, there we go. So let me show that again, oh, where did it go? Well, is this if they're folded back? Now I'm, I'm puzzling myself. Oh, that's the, uh, aha, answering my own questions as I do this. Not sure what that is. Less some traction snow, that's off. I'm gonna have to look this up in the uh, manual. You got me on that one. I'll have to shoot you another video or send you another text with the answers to that. And then we have the sunroof, which is always a nice addition to a vehicle. So let's see here. Operation of the sunroof. We'll close it. There we go. All right. So hopefully this gives you a really good idea of what you're uh, hoping to see either later today or tomorrow morning. I'm going to try to get a uh, driver to get this out to you as soon as possible. This vehicle too, while I'm talking about it, comes with two keys which is not always normal. Sometimes with, with uh, used vehicles, we only have one key. And i uh, just going to give you a shot of this again. I want to show, make sure you see those little nicks in the paint. There and up here on the hood, you got two of them. Okay. All right. Otherwise, it's a beautiful vehicle. And from experience, I know, both on driving on good years as well as driving Infinities, that these are just a pleasure to drive. You'll really enjoy this. Thanks again for your interest, Corey. I'll talk to you soon.